Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the diode conduction loss estimation. How you gonna calculate the diode conduction loss for your design? So let us understand first with the very basic. What is the symbol of the diode? So if you look at this, this is the diode symbol and this is your anode terminal and this is your cathode terminal. Let us say voltage across the diode is VAK and the current flowing through diode is IAK okay and uh, if you draw if you draw the equivalent cir circuit of the diode how gonna how you can draw so so if you draw the equivalent circuit this is your RD this is basically called the dynamic resistance and this is your cut in voltage V gamma again this is your anode and this is your cathode now let me show you the linear piecewise linear characteristic of the diode that means the curve between V and I so if you draw the characteristic of the diode if you uh, if you look at this so let me say this this to this point and then you have the curve like this okay so let us say this is your VAK and this is your IAK, right? I, I, A, K. And let us say this is your operating point. Okay. Let me dot it, mark it as a dot. So I call this point is a VF. And I call this point is a cut in voltage, V gamma. Okay. So V gamma is your cut in voltage where, where in diode start conducting and VF is your forward voltage and uh, if you know that if you draw the slope here voltage versus current slope like this so this is let's say called rd this is called the dynamic resistance rd i call this as a rd now if you write the equation for vf what should be it be so vf equals to v gamma please remember this v gamma plus IAK IAK into into RD okay so this is very important thing to remember now let me draw one switching cycle and let me show you let me calculate you the conduction loss so let me draw you one switching cycle here so now this will be the the time versus here you have let's say VAK and IAK VAK into IAK this line okay and if you draw for once complete switching cycle how this looks like so this is let's say this is your on time this is gonna be on time this is gonna be off time this is gonna again be on time and this is gonna again be off time okay so this is diode on let's say this is diode off let's say again on and off and this is your complete switching period this is called ps and uh, let us see where is your conduction loss is lying so let me draw the dotted line from here to here and this you can call is as a p conduction okay this is your p conduction so now you have to calculate the conduction loss for your design for this complete switching period so let me write here equation how you gonna calculate the conduction loss for complete switching period so p conduction equals to 1 by t s for complete switching period into integration of 0 to Ts Vf into Iak into Dt. Okay, so you are you are calculating the area under curve, this area, right? This area for complete switching period. So your complete switching time is uh, Ts. So P conduction equals to 1 by Ts integration of 0 to ts vf vf i would say what is your vf vf is this you can write this vf here right vf into iak you can write here vf 
into i a k so if you further solve this equation so 1 over t s and uh, 0 to t s right and in place of v f you can write v gamma plus i a k into r d dynamic resistance again multiply by i a k into dt so this is your equation now what i'm doing is i'm further simplifying this equation right so v gamma is constant term so you can take it out v gamma now 1 by ts integration of 0 to ts and what is i a k i a k into dt plus plus what is the your second term again this is constant again so you can take it out rd you can take it out into 1 by ts and uh, 0 to ts i a k square into dt so this is your final equation and as you know the integration of 1 by ts integration of 0 to ts this terminology is called i average and uh, this terminology is called irms irms so you can further simplify your equation you can further write it here how are you gonna write so let me write p conduction equals to now you have v gamma v gamma into i average plus rd into i r m s square so this is your this is your equation for conduction loss how you gonna calculate the conduction loss this is very important equation you can remember okay if you further simplify this what is i average i average equals to duty cycle times i i a k right and uh, you can call this an O2 cathode current and you can ca also call this the forward current in some case IF. You can also call this as a IF. And uh, what is your IRMS? IRMS equals to square root of duty cycle into IAK. And what is duty cycle? D equals to T on divided by T on plus of this is your duty cycle so so let's say if you have given some design equation that you are you are operating your diode with the this kind of square pulse if you look at here and you want to calculate your conduction loss so conduction loss for this kind of square input is given by v gamma into i average plus rd into irms square where v gamma you can call this as a cut in voltage cut in voltage and wherein rd equals to dynamic resistance okay so hope guys after watching this video you will be able to calculate or estimate diode conduction loss for your given design equation and still if you have any further question on this feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video